Hi, I am going to teach you another way to use gua sha, the Chinese scraping technique, um, especially if you're having a cough right now um, or shortness of breath or congestion in the lung. This is folk medicine. This is a home remedy that um, you can do if you don't have access to medical care. This is obviously not a Intended, intended to be a replacement for medical care. Um, it's just we're in a new era right now where we need to be scrappy and resourceful and help each other. Um, so I'm just gonna teach you some Chinese medicine that comes from folk medicine. And um, you know, it's been there all along. It's never gone anywhere. We just often overlook it because we have these other more efficient sometimes options, but you know what, let's not sell it short because it's not frivolous. This is good stuff. Um, anyway, gua sha. It's a scraping technique. Um, we're gonna use some kind of oil. This is my coconut oil that I got at Bollywood Theater. Um, and I, when life was different a month or two ago, maybe longer, anyway. Um, you can use olive oil or jojoba oil or whatever you've got. Um, you need some sort of utensil. Um, this is not necessary. You can use, I have a smooth edged button from my collection of buttons. I don't know if you have one of those, but maybe you have a river stone, a rock, or a lighter. Shout out to Dami, who liked the lighter. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, the one other thing I recommend for this, if you are having uh, respiratory issues, if you have it, if you have ginger, or if you have fresh rosemary or fresh sage, some kind of um, herb, um, I would add it to the oil. So here's what I'm going to suggest, like you pinch off a little bit um, and then you want to press it. I have like a garlic press here. I don't know, do whatever you can. Um, and you can just squeeze it into like a little jar or a little plate. This is a little dish my son gave me when he was out of town. He brought it back as a gift and he said, I was like, oh, it's beautiful, I love it. And he said, and mom, you wouldn't believe how cheap it was. <laughs> I was like, that's my guy. We like him thrifty. Um, it was a lovely gift. I cherish this little dish. So I'm putting some ginger in here. A little ginger goes a long way, as you know. It's potent stuff. Um, it smells amazing. So I'm squeezing that in, and then I'm just gonna add some coconut oil so that it's mostly coconut oil, but it has a little bit of ginger in it. And like I said, a little goes a long way. Sorry, I'm new at making videos. This is not really my thing, so I'm like, how do I show you that? Ginger, little bits and juice and oil, and then we just sort of mush it up. Um, by the way, I don't know that anyone ever taught me this. It's just we use ginger in other ways in Chinese medicine. We use it in moxa. I don't know if people gua sha with it, but let me tell you, I was sick with a nasty virus last week. Um, no diagnosis, so I don't know if it was COVID-19 or something else, but sure seemed like COVID-19. And I got I had a lot of fever dreams and insights about how to help people who get this illness or viral, respiratory viral illnesses. We can say that to be generic since I don't know for sure. Um, and I came up with a lot, I had a, felt like a download of a lot of ideas. So I'm going to share those with you. A lot of them are like kitchen hacks and garden things like plants you can find in your backyard maybe or in the median I found a bunch of good stuff um, that I'll make another video for as soon as I can today on a walk um, I just found all kinds of things lavender and 
rosemary and dandelion and cedar and sage um, just all growing all over the neighborhood um, and I didn't I was good I didn't go in anyone's yard it was like all in the median which I think is fair game right I think it is okay uh, we're in a time of generosity and sharing right now. Anyway, don't hold me to it, these things. Okay, so we have this gunky um, coconut oil with ginger juice and fiber bits. And um, we're going to put it on our lung meridian on our chest. I'm wearing a bathing suit. I have this insane bruise because when I was sick, I put an acupuncture needle here and I didn't look when I took it out, and it was just like bruising and bruising and bruising. <laughs> it's so bad. I like never bruise my, bruise my patients like this. I'm sure, okay, maybe one of you is like, she did, yes, yeah, she bruised me like that. I'm sorry. I rarely bruise my patients because like I'm looking very closely when I insert the needle and take it out. Um, and so if a needle bleeds, which is very, unusual they usually don't I press it right away and it doesn't bruise but it was myself and I didn't notice until like minutes later I was like oh it's like a huge lump there okay so also my neck is like totally bruised because I did I did just a little gua sha yesterday for you guys I think it was yesterday yeah it was yesterday um and it it was so crazy I do that neck gua sha on myself all the time and I never get shy like that. So I know that was from being sick. Um, this is clearing a bunch of heat and toxin and icky stuff from my neck and throat from being sick. So that means it's actually really good for me. And as soon as these bruises go away, I'm gonna do it again. You can do gua sha to the point of being purple. Um, it just might make you exhausted, which I don't think is a great thing. And it looks crazy. Um, but it's kind of like cupping. If you've seen people have big cut marks on their back, it looks like they like slow danced with an octopus um, and they're purple or really red, like and this kind of texture, this patechia, you know, it's okay. Like, you know, you can do that. Um, we do say that like really bundle up, don't let the cold wind get into your skin when the pores are that open, that's not good for your body. So if you do that to yourself or with a buddy on your back or something, just stay stay warm and covered if the weather's cold or if you're on a bike or air conditioning or anything like that. Okay, enough with this already. I'm going to, I'm wearing a bathing suit. I'm gonna take my robe off, it's freezing. It's not that cold, I'm just being a baby, but, um, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. And these are the lung, these very important lung points here. They're like in the um, front of the shoulder. Um, in this like, if you put your arm forward, it's like a cavity where your hands go. So we definitely want a bunch of gingery oil there. And then, where did I put it? And then we want it all along underneath the collarbone. You don't need to go like on the collarbone. You wanna go right underneath it. And then we want to do like the breastbone, the sternum, where my gigantic crazy bruise is. I'm not going to gua sha my bruise, but I'm going to show you what it is so that you can do it. And then, um, you know, these spots are really good for cough too, like the top of the traps. Um, and if you didn't do the gua sha yesterday, you can do the throat. Just listen to your body. If you get the sense like, mm, this is a little too much for me, stop. There's even a little goes a long way. Try not to overdo it. Your body doesn't need you to overdo it right now. So let's do this in moderation, okay? I will use, let's see, maybe I'll use the button and not the soup spoon. I don't know how many of you have a soup spoon or a button. Look so much shaw again. Yeah, this virus was nasty. It is still working its way out of me. So, see, I'm just rubbing. I'm going to be so bruisy again. <laughs> it's okay. It's good. Get it out. So, just a little bit, and that's so purpley and red. Like, seriously, I do 
gua sha on myself a lot and it only gets pink and it takes a while. I like to do it on my face and my jaw and neck, but it very, I, I never really had a bruise before. It's bruising so quick. Uh, these guys can kind of take a little more pressure. Wow, look at that. Okay, I'll try the river stone on this side. It's so embarrassing, I'm in my bathing suit in front of you guys, but I just wanna be helpful. Okay, this isn't quite as intense as the button. It also, it does depend on the implement. Oh, it's so tender though, jeez. So you just, you wanna get all into this lung area here. And I'm doing this late at night and it will probably help me sleep better, hoping. Same for you, if you're having trouble sleeping. It is quite a lucky skill. If you're not having trouble sleeping right now, skill, I don't know, luck, something. Congratulations if you're a good sleeper during times of stress. That's a wonderful thing. Okay, you get the gist. And then you wanna do this whole area, but I'm not gonna do that because my goodness, I've like maimed myself. Um, you can kind of get into these little joints for the ribs meet the sternum. This is such a, um, the sternum is so cool. It, the manubrium, and if you look at the skeleton, it's like the neatest shape, and the ribs fit in like these little puzzle pieces. Our bodies are incredible. Can you believe that like the whole blueprint for all of it, every single thing is like there from nothing? Egg, sperm, it's crazy. Miracle of life, no big deal. <laughs> okay, look, that's red. I wonder how yours is, and I wonder if you're okay. And I wanna remind you again that if you are suffering and concerned, you need to call your doctor. We don't have tests. COVID-19 where I live right now. We haven't yet. I got sick a week ago. Uh, not quite Wednesday. Um, and uh, we still, we didn't have them then and we still don't have them now. There's scarce tests and they're being saved for people in the hospital, which of course makes sense don't want to take up a scarce resource, but it's not available anyway. Um, okay, you get the picture. A lot of Shaw, purple stuff, red stuff, pink stuff, clearer lungs. Um, after you do this, like take some good deep breaths, you know, like just really try to kind of clear things out. <sighs> try to expand your diaphragm. If you need some visualizations, I have those for you. Um, my podcast is called Bodyland Metaphor Medicine. You can find it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or on my website, which is Night Sky Acupuncture. Rhymes with nice guy acupuncture. That's me. <laughs> Okay, sleep well, be well, take good care of yourselves, gua sha yourself with love and tenderness and kindness. <laughs>